Right, I think that that's set up. I really don't know. Let's try and clumber over this thing now. <gasps> uh, I think I'm gonna die. Uh, oh my god! I knew it! I stubbed my toe so bad just now and it's bleeding. Uh, uh, I need to go to hospital. Is that even in focus now? I just don't know how anyone does this, it's so hard. I'm getting a headache. So, that's right. I thought I was about to be murdered. Oh! I need to move over a bit. Welcome to my channel. No, I'm so scared the neighbours are gonna hear me and think that I'm just summoning a demon. <laughs> Deciding to do this for a long time and obviously didn't feel confident enough, didn't think I could do it, but here I am. I'm gonna do a Q&A to start with and that is what we're gonna do today. Put out on my social media accounts for anyone to ask me questions. Um, this isn't gonna be the typical sort of content that I wanna upload on my YouTube channel. I want to do um, makeup looks and Makeup for men, makeup for women. Um, I'd obviously love to be sent makeup products so that I could review them for you guys. Um, and yeah, that's kind of where I want to be with this channel. The first video, like I said, is going to be Q and A. So I asked you guys to send me some questions. Not a pro, I don't know how to edit videos. This is going to be so fucking difficult. Oh, what have I done? Oh my god, is my nose bleeding? No. I also stubbed my toe really bad. I might need to visit the hospital later because it's bead beading bleeding profusely all out of my toe. I feel like I'm losing blood more by the second and it's quite scary. I'm just so new at this, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but if I can't put it on the screen, don't hate me, I'll read out your comment. First question. Do you watch slash like RuPaul's Drag Race? If so, who is your favourite queen? Yes, I do watch RuPaul's Drag Race. I think over the years, I've liked it less and less. So like the newer seasons, I don't like as much, but there is a drag queen in the newest season of RuPaul's Drag Race, Aquaria, who just slayed it for me this season and is definitely up there with probably like my top two favourite drag queens and the first one would be Valentina. She just is the most gorgeous thing in the entire world and despite all of the hate that she got from all of the other queens in her season, she literally just shrugged that shit off and then got on with her life and I fucking love that. I swear on YouTube. I can swear on YouTube. Oh my god, this is so weird. I feel like I've lost my right arm. I don't have Ollie with me to try and protect me if all the haters hate me. This does feel really weird. Like, usually I've got Ollie sat here and I'm like, if he takes the limelight, that's fine. I can just fade into the background because I don't want anyone to hate me. No, just kidding. Um, it feels weird, man, not having him here. I don't know if I like this. What is your favourite candle scent? I definitely like Ben & Jerry's. Ben & Jerry's is ice cream, what's the brand? Ben & Jerry's. Why have I got Ben & Jerry's on the mind? Yankee Candle. I love Yankee Candles and they did a scent called um, Salted Caramel and they discontinued it and it's not there anymore. Heart's broken, but I got over it and now I buy cheap one pound candles from Dunelm. <laughs> What's your favorite TV show? Um, definitely on Netflix is a show called Orphan Black and it's about clones and a girl and and <laughs> um, a girl who realizes that she's a clone and the government are trying to get rid of the clones and she meets all of her clone sisters and it's just so good. Like. Orphan Black on Netflix, watch it, it'll change your life, babes. Are your grandparents still married? Yes. Can't hear them. Is your native language English? Yes. I'm as British as it gets, honey. You will not see me ever probably being able to fully speak another language. You can say, puta. Have you ever seen Finding Nemo or Finding Dory? Yes. Oh, and if so, which one's your favorite? Finding Dory is definitely, wait, no, what was the first one? Finding Nemo is my favorite, you can't beat that, it's a classic. Plus I was like tiny when it came out, so 
Obviously it was so much more exciting. Actually, I don't know, was it more exciting? No, because when Fern and Dory came out, I was like, yes, we've been waiting for this for like 20 years. I don't think it was that long, but we'd waited for it for a long fucking time. So by the time it came out, I was a bit like, <gasps> out of my way, little squirts, fuck off. <laughs> How did you come out and who did you first tell you were gay? That's just, this is quite a good one. Sorry about that, camera died. Um, I think I've got the question, so I'll edit that bit, but I don't really know how I'm going to do that. What have I taken on? YouTube's just so hard, I don't know what I'm even doing. So I came out to my mum first. We were in the car on our way back from picking me up from work, and we were just having like a conversation about my sister's pregnancy, and I got emotional. I just told her that way. And then I didn't really feel like I had to come out to anyone else. She was the only person that I really wanted to tell. There is something on my face and it will not come off, I swear to God, if it's a spider, I'm gonna cry. I didn't want to tell anyone else, I didn't feel like anyone else really warranted an explanation, they either accepted me or they didn't, they got the fuck out of my life and that was just how I saw it. But my mum was the only person that I felt like needed the explanation about who her son was. So I asked her to tell my sister and then my sister just told whoever and then the word just got out and I think I just got a boyfriend and then everyone kind of gathered from there that I was a raging fag. <laughs> how old were you when you found out that Santa wasn't real? Well. I don't think I ever believed in Santa because I had a bitch of a sister who told me who Santa was or wasn't from the age of like zero. She would always just be like, let's go and find our presents around the house and there would be me and her tearing her up out my mum's wardrobe and going up in the loft at like seven years of age trying to find our presents and we'd unwrap the corner and like look inside and then be like, mm, we know what that is and then take it back up again. So. I don't think I ever believed in Santa and we're on limited time so I need to hurry the fuck up now because I have to wait an hour apparently for this battery thing inside the camera to charge if it dies again and I haven't got an hour. In 45 minutes, Putsy's picking me up and we're going out so that I can get something else for Ollie's birthday so this needs to stop being a bitch. What would you name your kids if you had any with Oliver? Um, it's actually not a question we've ever spoken about. I mean, I don't like normal names. Like, I wouldn't name my kid, like, John, Steve, or Belinda. Um, they would definitely have unusual names, but it's not actually anything that I've ever thought about because I don't want kids yet, and it's not something that I need to think about right now. I need to think about what colour shoe I'm going to buy or what colour shirt I need for the weekend, or that's not even true either. What flavour ice cream am I going to have in the evening or if I'm going to have Hagen dazs or... <laughs> I just flamed in my mouth. Hagen dazs or Ben and Jerry's, you know, that sort of thing. Do you smoke? I don't smoke. Um, never smoked. I don't like smoking. I've been around people that have smoked before and I don't mind if they do it. That's their life, their decisions. Personally, for me, I'd never damage my body with smoking because um, I've seen what it can do to people and that's not for me. What is your favourite celebrity? Ariana Grande, all the way. I stan her so much. She is literally like... God is a woman, like, God is a woman. She's just, like, incredible. She's one of the sweetest people in the world, and um, she's been through a hell of a lot these past, like, over a year now, so she's dealt with it like a boss, and I just love her. Do you and Ollie plan to get married? I mean, we live together and we're quite happy with the situation at the moment, so, I mean, in terms of getting married, that's obviously further down the line but I definitely like to think that we both feel like it's gonna go that way but for right now no babes that's too much money would you rather have an American or British accent oh my god American all the way ever since I was a little kid I was obsessed with Americans and I don't know why I'd watch American TV programs I'd watch people on YouTube that had American accents and I'd literally be like why isn't that me <laughs> and I was so jealous. I mean, now I'm older, I'm really not that fussed, but if I could turn back the time and plant my seed in an American lady's vagina, then yeah, I would probably do that. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have... Why am I doing that? I don't. I have one sibling. Um, one sister, she's four years older than me, um, and yes, we were very close when we were growing up, but it was the kind of close that one minute we'd be best friends, the next minute give her a black eye at the end of the day. Are your parents still married? No. My mum is my bestest friend in the entire world. She has been the mum, the dad, the best friend, the everything, and I don't need anyone else if I've got my mum. My mum is the OG. 
O B? I'm really not gangster at all. My mum's the bomb. How white am I? <laughs> How long does it take you to do your makeup in the morning? Well, I work eight hours a day, five days a week, so I don't want to be taking too long on my makeup in the morning, so I'm gonna check if this is recording before I carry on. I work from early in the morning until the afternoon. I don't want to be wasting my time in the morning doing my face when I could have an extra half an hour in bed, so I slap it on real quick and it can sometimes take me about 15 minutes. The eyebrows are the only thing that take me the longest because I like them to look natural enough but fuller than what I naturally have, which could possibly be a video I do at a later date showing you how I do my eyebrows because I don't have any eyebrows really. I have a few hairs that are attached to the top of my eyes and I call them eyebrows, but they're not babes. They're two pubes stuck to my forehead. Takes me about 15 minutes. On a day like today where I'm gonna be going out, um, can take me about an hour just because I like that flawless look. I don't like there to be streaks. I don't like there to be bits that don't look perfect. But obviously when I go to work, I don't care. Round. <coughs> Where did you and Ollie meet? We've definitely said this in a different video, we did a Q&A on his channel a couple of months ago, um, but we met via the internet, so we're definitely an internet couple, but it was never something that we was like, oh let's get together and then have our first meet, it was like, we knew each other, we were mutuals, we went on a date, we went on another date, we um, obviously we're speaking quite a lot and then we went from there and that's how our relationship happened. How long did it take you to do your eyebrows? Um, as I said in my last question with the makeup, eyebrows take me the longest but overall I'd say they probably take me about 10 minutes. That's on a good day. On a bad day, they can take hours honey. If that first stroke of the hair doesn't go right, it's getting wiped away and I'm gonna keep doing it until it keeps going right and I don't know what the fuck I'm saying because I'm stuttering and I have sweat patches because of this video. This is the pressure of YouTube. It's making me sweat and I don't sweat. What would be your perfect job? I'd love to be a makeup artist. I would love to be able to do celebrities makeup. I'd love to just be that person that create makeup myself and sell it. Uh, oh my god, I'm trying to get it focused. It's difficult. No! Move that cunt. Hopefully that's focused. I'm not going to do any more questions because I'm on limited time. It's now quarter to one, puts his picking me up at one. The battery keeps on dying, my phone's about to die. I've answered your questions and yeah, like I said, this isn't gonna be the most typical content for me. It will definitely be transitioning into makeup looks, but it's not something that I want to have to recreate videos from. I wanna try and upload really original content, things that, ideas that come from me and ideas that inspire people and hopefully inspire companies to send me free stuff. So that was it, I mean, if you like this video give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, that would mean the world, obviously I'm just starting out so um, I'm not expecting to go viral. It would be good if I had your support. So leave your comments in the, um, in the box I guess, I don't know what this is, I need to, I should have watched a YouTube video on how these people do it before I did this. Leave comments below if you have any requests on a video that you want to see, I'd be more than happy to do that if there was quite a lot of requests for one specific video, but that's it really. More content coming, I don't know how I'm going to be uploading content, trying to balance working and yeah, there's just so much going on at the moment, like Ollie's dance company, Commercial Edge Dance is literally blowing up, it's getting so big and he's becoming so successful in our area. I take on quite a lot of that for him as well just because I enjoy it but it also helps him as well because otherwise he'd be doing it all himself so YouTube will be one of them things that I do as of when so it'll be original content and things that I feel like I'm going to enjoy making and things that I feel like you're going to enjoy watching. Subscribe to my channel, give me some support and I'll see you in the next video. How do I even do an outro? I'm gonna be the worst YouTuber in the world, man. I'm gonna flop. Bye.